Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artists and Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is a pirate theme project. You guys all know I love pirate theming, pirate decor, pirate clothing, and everything pirate history related. Um, like I said, it's a pirate theme project, and it is a small pirate shelf to put little beach knickknacks or something on. And I've already got the pattern printed out and attached to the material with clear packing tape. The material we're using is half inch pine wood that I have milled down over on the thickness planer. And like I said, it's a small pirate shelf and the design depicts two pirate ships with the Jolly Roger for the top piece, the Jolly Roger commonly associated with pirates. And then the shelf brackets have an added design with the pirate cutlass on it. So that's going to be real cool. And then the actual shelf piece itself and then the shelf has an accent piece between the two brackets which is depicts a pirate captain in the Caribbean sunset by the palm tree which is real cool. As you can see I've got everything that I can lined up on the straight edge of the wood that I cut down on the table saw. This project has basic butt joint construction so you need to make sure that the angles are at perfect 90s when you cut this out. If you're confident cutting out straight lines by all means you can put the um, pattern any way you want to on your material. Um, I made this project a few years ago and posted it over on my Instagram page but it was made out of Baltic birch plywood and I didn't like how all the layers showed up on the butt joint construction and really wanted to make it out of solid wood. So since we already have our patterns attached to the material let's head over to the drill press, drill our pilot holes and come back and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, I am using a small drill bit to drill all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. Several on this project, but we're just going to take our time and get all the work done. And we're going to move over here to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades. And this is pine shelving board that I planed down to half inch thick. It's originally three quarter inches thick and I planed it down with a thickness planer to half inch thickness and the number five blades are cutting through it extremely well with minimal chip out and very smooth cutting. I tried to use the factory edge for most of the pieces that have straight lines for lining everything up when gluing to make sure everything would be at a perfect 90 degree angle and square for the butt joint type assembly that this project has. Just going through here getting off my internal cuts done and now we will begin after this final internal cut to release the pieces from the wood if you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in the free pattern catalog. Cutting out the shelf brackets. Beautiful design by Steve Good. And this is my second time making this project. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. It encourages me to make more and more projects. Coming around the pirate ship here to finish all of our scroll work. And then we will move over to the workbench and remove all the patterns. And this is why I like just using clear packing tape because everything just peels away easily. And now we'll move over to the other workbench and sand everything with small circular motions with 100 grit sandpaper on the palm sander. And I'll do a little touch up sanding with 220 sandpaper off camera.
and then we'll take the pieces back over to the main workbench and begin gluing everything together. Beginning with the back piece here with the shelf brackets and this is Gorilla Wood Glue I'm using. Using my clamps here to hold everything together while it dries and I'll glue the skull and crossbones to the shelf piece and I'll let all this dry around an hour and let the glue set up real good and then I came back and removed those clamps and then glued the two pieces together and then I let that also dry around an hour doesn't take long for wood glue to grab but after I let it dry I came back and again removed the clamps and took the piece outside to stain give it some color and I never let the stain set a long time but I made sure to get in all the little nooks and crannies and made sure everything got a nice coating of the stain and then I wiped everything off with a towel and hung it on a wire to dry outside for a few hours and the project was complete And here we have the completed pirate knickknack shelf. It came out real good. Um, again, it is made from pine wood completely. It took me around an hour to do all the scroll work. And then we had the sanding time, the glue up time, and then the staining time, and then waiting for all that to dry. I can't clear coat it in this video because it's overcast and cloudy outside, but I will be doing that when the weather breaks and I'm able to do that. It came out real good. It's got some amazing detail. All in all, I've got a few hours in the afternoon in on making this. Didn't take long to do. Steve Good makes amazing projects, and I really love these pirate themed projects he's done. I love the skull and the crossbones with the pirate ships facing each other, and then the accent piece between the brackets with the pirate under the Caribbean sunrise or sunset near the palm tree. Really awesome, really amazing. I know a lot of people don't like to work with pine, but I also made out of the very same material this amazing clock. It was made from the same material I got that made the pirate shelf today. Really awesome. And you just have to take your time and work with pine and really just take your time and be easy with it. And you can make some amazing and beautiful pieces. This shelf is going to be a real nice addition to put maybe a 3D printed boat with a pirate flag on it and maybe some other 3D printed nautical or pirate trinkets. I really look forward to that and I really look forward to getting the clear coat on it and the hanger and getting it hung up. I hope you guys like watching me make this. I know I had an amazing time making this with it being a pirate theme project. Really awesome. That's about all for this video. It's a pirate's life for me guys. Remember, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.